Helopeltis cause considerable damage by laying eggs on the tender stem. The buds at the oviposition site cracks the dry the tissues and callus growth underneath. Shoot with extensive callositis on the stem may die back or remain unproductive. After 24 hours of feeding, the spot becomes translucent and light brown. The badly affected leaves become deformed and curled. After a few days of sucking by Helopeltis tabora, the spot appears as dark brown sunken spots and which subsequently dries up. For effective control of Helopeltis, barrier spring is uh, adopted. It should be done before spring in the infested area. About 8 to 10 rows of the tea bushes at the outer periphery should be sprayed first. After completion of barrier spray, the operator should start spraying the remaining parts of the infested area. For helopeltis control, the first spraying personnel should cover the top hamper of the bushes and the second person should cover the middle and the bottom hamper of the bushes. Red spider is one of the most important mite pest of tea and uh, it's generally a pest of maintenance foliage. In severe cases, the leaves become uh, brownish bronze color. It attacks the young leaves also and it generally attacks the upper surface of the leaves but it, uh, in severe attack, it goes under surface of the leaves also. The red spider is an important uh, mite pest of tea in Northeast India and it's a pest of mature tea, mature uh, leaf and uh, it has got four different stages that is egg, larva, nymphs and adults and uh, except eggs all the stages cause damage to the leaf surface by sucking cell set from the leaves. For red spider mite the target is our maintenance foliage because it's a uh, pest of the mature leaves. So we have to cover all the hampers, that is top, middle and bottom hamper of the bushes. So thorough coverage is required. Lupar caterpillar is one of the most destructive defoliator paste of tea. And uh, in recent years, five different species of forest looper caterpillar, mainly Hyposida talaka, Hyposida infexaria, Cleura species, Ectropis species, and Ascotis species. These five species uh, cause extensive damage to the tea and citric plants. This looper caterpillar has got four different developmental stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adults. However, only the larval stage is harmful, which cause damage to the tea leaves and citri leaves. The first and second stir larva eat out small holes along the margin and then beat up small holes in the margin. As they grow, they prefer the mature leaves and they start feeding from the margin towards uh, midrib and the mature larva, that is full grown larva, they prefer the mature leaves and the newer species which cause damage to the bark also in absence of mature leaves in the bushes. Tree thieves is one of the important sucking pests of tea and it attacks generally on the shoot portion, the bud portion and inside the bud it feeds and when the buds unfold the two sandpapery line develops along the margin and leaf thieves also dries up and Sometimes the petiole of the leaves, also brownish discoloration, develop at the petiole portion. And as a result of sucking by this paste, the soot lacerates and whole the plants become stunted. 